Tom, and uh, back again with a comic book haul. Uh, a lot of things have been going on since my last video. Things kind of went sideways um, with the whole uh, coronavirus. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. It's a, it's a weird time uh, right now. Uh, a lot of people are uh, losing their jobs, and uh, people are staying inside and working from home, you know, and local shops are closing down uh, but not permanently um, when things blow over things will be back to normal hopefully sooner as opposed to later um, luckily I haven't lost my job um, but, uh, we're so we're still open um, for business doctor's offices I guess are needed nowadays and um, my place is uh, no exception um, but on a on a happier note or a different note is um, I mentioned the uh, the file cabinet uh, that I picked up. Uh, I bought two. One of them I couldn't get down the stairs. It was a uh, four or five drawer one. Just couldn't get it down the basement stairs. Um, so I got this two drawer cabinet and uh, just shown real quick. So it holds, uh, I was able to get four rows in each. It's just a quick, so this is mostly some my Bronze Age miscellaneous titles. And here are the first two rows, Bronze Age stuff. Here's like some, you know, minor keys, spec books, things like that, you know, first appearances. And yeah, stuff like that. And then, whoops, some other money books, uh, second uh, Black Panther, first appearance of Rye. Uh, I like this. This is pretty neat. I'm going to get another one, and I'm going to put it right there. I had a big metal shelf here before that uh, I was able to get rid of. Um, I was able to fit, I don't know, a couple of long boxes worth of books in here. And I was able to reorganize my basement ever so slightly. Um, these are my Lucio Carrillo books in here. Um, my amazing Spider-Man books. Anything below number uh, 200 is in there. Red Sonia and this... Uh, this box here a few videos ago, um, I showed that off with uh, some of my more expensive books. And then there's my uh, my Golden Age uh, Plastic Man uh, 7.0 slab. And then I had a big uh, coffee table here that was uh, taking up a lot of space. And then I also had here, my daughter came home from college as well, so some of her crap is has found its way down my basement till her dorm room opens up again, whenever that's going to be. Um, but I had a shelf here filled with baseball stuff. I kind of streamlined that a little bit and moved some of the things over here into this shelf with some other things. Um, that's a uh, Charlie Garinger from 1933 Gaudi card in there. Uh, an autograph, Joey Ramone. Ramones cassette. Funny thing about that, I don't know if I've ever said the story before, when I was working in the hospital, uh, he was a patient there at the hospital in New Brunswick, and I went up to his uh, hospital room and had him sign that. What year was that? I think he put a year, yep. 1989. So that was cool. And my original Millennium Falcon and some other odds and ends there. And then uh, the comic wall. Hope to do some changes with that. That Betty Page calendar I showed a few videos ago. Just a quick overview of the of the basement. It's coming along. If I turn the light off, let's see how that looks. So I got that light there. My video rack which I've shown before. My details, I think I've shown these a couple of times already. And the contents of what's on top. A 
it's a nice little space. Um, I'd like to spend more time down here. I just don't with work and, you know, spending time with the wife after work. And But on the weekends, I come down here and play my play my uh, World of Warcraft. Um, some autographed balls. For whatever reason over the years, they seem to have yellowed. Um, I don't know. I, can't, I guess maybe I needed to have a dehumidifier running down here. I'm not sure why they, they yellowed like that. And then... Um, the remnants of my Popeye collection um, is in this case here. In my garage, like I've said, I've got a couple of tubs full of things from um, the collection that used to be in my prior house. So that's just a quick overview of uh, what I've done down here, cleaning up, reorganizing. I still got to do the other half of the basement. Um, when I get another one of these cabinets, I'll be able to clear off some more space and, uh, make some room over there for some other books. But, uh, I picked up some books recently since the last video, obviously, um, which is a little bit over a month ago. Um, first I want to show this, um, I say mm, a lot, but, uh, I picked up uh, Gigan, um, from the Godzilla line to add to the rest of my Godzilla figures. I don't think I'm going to pick up any of the other figures in the, in the wave. I did pick up Destroya. I'm not going to grab Space Godzilla or Godzilla 2016, but this figure is kind of cool. I'll put it up on the shelf with some of the other stuff. All right, on with the, uh, the show, so to speak. My dad picked this up for me. He went to Barnes and Noble and uh, got that for me. It's pretty big. Uh, the Ultimate Superhero Collection. Uh, how much was this bad boy? This was a twenty dollar magazine, I believe. Yeah, twenty bucks for that. It's it's a British import uh, magazine. Um, it was really neat. Nice little surprise. All right, some odds and ends. Um, went to Zap Comics a couple whoops a couple of weeks ago. I only bought uh, one book, believe it or not, when I was there. Uh, bought this Brave and the Bold, uh, number four. It's a relatively short print, hard to find book. Uh, got that for two bucks. A couple of random Instagram books. Got this for five dollars. Uh, Golden Age Popeye book. The condition's not all that great, but for $5, I, I, I couldn't pass that up. Put that in the uh, Popeye PC. Um, Hanna-Barbera uh, TV Superheroes. I think I got this for for 5 bucks as well. Got... Um, Red Sonia number 80, uh, the final issue, Lucio Perillo cover. Another Lucio Perillo cover. Let me see if I can get closer and get you guys a better look at some of these things. Hold on one second. And like I said, I hope everybody's doing okay out there. And uh, nobody knows anyone who's gotten sick or they're sick themselves. Um, hopefully we'll all get through this pretty soon. All right. So I'm in New Jersey and things kind of starting to go sideways here. Um, every time you turn on the TV, somebody, some little hot spots popping up. But, uh, let's see. Queen Sonia number 28. Red Sonia 79. Queen Sonia 35. Uh, Lord of the Jungle. I don't know what issue it is, but it's a, a virgin uh, variant. Never find the virgin variants of the, uh, the sexy lady covers. It's always the dudes. And then I picked uh, 
this is a book that I've, I've wanted to get. Um, there's a lot of first appearances in this book. Um, I mean, who knows, maybe one day this book will, uh, will be like the, uh, the New Avengers, not the New Avengers, Young Avengers book with all their first appearances in that book. And it's got, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty hot book and the same thing could be said about this book someday. More Instagram purchases, uh, Tales of Suspense, number 93. And I think these were all five bucks each. And uh, Tales of Suspense, number 87. Got all those off of Instagram. And then I made a trade. Well, I'll get to that later i've got i'll save some of the better books for the end like most people do in their haul videos be sure all the good books at first they'll uh they'll tune out so this book was on my ebay watch list um the guy originally wanted 34 dollars for this i think i got it for 11 and uh, for some reason, I think people stayed away from the book because the plastic bag that it's in has this rip in it. I mean, he he actually like made a point of showing the the rip in his pictures. Maybe people thought the book itself was damaged. So I was very happy to get this. And then there was another book um, that I got from the same seller. I think I wound up paying $20 for everything shipped or $22 for everything shipped, this and the other book. But I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse in Color, 1930s classic comic strips. So, this is really cool. Now, with all the time that uh, we've got to be shut in right now, this is um, something I'm going to sit down and, and give it a good read. It's a very cool book. And then, let's see. I made a trade with a uh, uh, former YouTuber. Um, he's big on Instagram. Uh, PGH Comic Expert. He uh, had these books. These little pocket comics. Um, and I traded him some basketball cards for him. Uh, I was surprised I had some basketball cards in the collection. I didn't remember collecting them back in the day. But uh, he had shown an interest and in, in asked me if I had some basketball cards. And I looked and I had some stuff he was interested in. So I sent him all of them for these two, these three books. And I like these pocket comics. Um it reminds me of back in the day in grammar school when the um, we used to have something called the bookmobile come around to the school and uh, sell books. And I used to buy like uh, the family circus and uh, there were all these pocket comics stuff like mostly of the uh, the comic strips from the day. Uh, Marmaduke, family circus, Garfield. Um, there were superheroes as well. Um, so anytime I see these, I pick them up. Whoop. All right. What's next? What is next? Um, I think I picked these up from my local shop. These are a buck a piece. Just some Popeye reprints. And then uh, I grabbed these out of the quarter bin. I always wanted to read this. I thought it was an interesting collection of uh, characters. Um, Blade, uh, Angela, Winter Soldier, Spider-Woman. But this was... A, I did not enjoy this at all. It was a really bad read, I thought. Very disappointing. Um, so I got issue one, and uh, I haven't even read issue two yet. Uh, but I was really disappointed with issue one. And then I also got, uh, I've seen how other people show this, this little uh, Disney Plus promo for Spider-Woman. Trying to get this a little closer without knocking it over. And we did it. Um, more dollar pickups. 
um, Archie's Madhouse Annual Number Eight. Betty and Me Number Thirty One. Some Bronze Age Archies. And then uh, swimsuit or bikini or bathing suit issues are always popular. Found that for a buck as well. Betty and Me, number 30. There's some neat little books for the, for the PC. And then uh, I went back to Zap. Um, right bef the day before um, all the uh, local stores uh, were closing. And uh, I picked up a couple of books. I did it again. Um, I don't know how I do it. I had two copies of this in my hand, and I thought, well, let me grab the better of the two. And it's uh, Batman 412. I got it for a buck fifty. But when I got it home, it's not a Tom Ryan haul without. See that? Nice big old crease right across the Batman logo. Logo. I don't know how I do it. It was in my hand. I was studying the two copies. The other one was a little dirty, um, so I didn't grab it. And then I grabbed the uh, current issue of Vampirella number 9. And then I grabbed the Corona issue for um, Spectacular Spider-Man number 176 for $1.50. I finally got my first image uh, title newsstand uh, variant. I don't. I think out of all of them, this one I think is the most obtainable out of them. I've seen other people show off uh, newsstand uh, variant for pit number one, but it's the first time I've come across a image newsstand and in decent shape. Found that for a dollar. Found this for a buck. Um, DC just recently reprinted this issue, and it is um, Adam Strange's first team up with the Justice League. It's in very low grade, um, but uh, I wasn't going to pass that up for a dollar. I thought that was pretty cool. Mystery in Space, number 75. And then another dollar pickup. I always look for this book, and... Uh, now that I finally found one, I'll probably find multiple copies uh, in the future. Isn't that normally how it goes? You finally get one, and then more keep following in your lap. So I got Chris Star number eight. Not the highest grade of copies, but um, so you got a little something there and a little something there. And if anybody's wondering, well, what's so special about that? It's got the Danzig logo there where he got the idea for the... Uh, for that logo on his album covers uh, comes from there. And then the final, uh, not the final book, but the other book that I got in that eBay haul, um, an awesome Dave Stevens, Betty Page cover. I'm a big Betty Page fan, of course, and a uh, big Dave Stevens fan. Um, so look, that was on my want list for a while. Luckily, the Mickey Mouse guy had that at the same time. Went uh, again to the local Walmart before uh, shit went sideways. And um, I was looking for this because I actually thought this was an Alex Ross cover, um, but it is not. But I got the Walmart uh, pack for Amazing Spider-Man 33. I really like the cover. I like purple covers to boot and uh it does it does have an alex ross feel to it but uh it's not an alex ross cover more lucio perillo goodness deja thoris uh, number four i got two copies of that gwen stacy number one the j scott campbell variant and the disappointing Adam Hughes variant. I really don't care for this version too much. Her face is kind of like wide. Uh, maybe it's just the way he has her angled. But it's. I don't think it's one of his better, better uh, covers. 
And then um, another Lucio Prillo cover, Vengeance of Vampirella number four. And um, I forgot the artist on this, Catwoman number 20. I, I like that from the first time I saw that cover. Um, the B cover for Deja Thoris number three. I forgot the artist on that as well, but I thought that was really cool. I wanted to grab that. And then the last of the um, current books is Wonder Woman 751, Jenny Frizen variant. It's got a Linda Carter vibe to it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what she was going for there. Um, so I had to have that. All right. Just a couple books left. Um, made a trade with a fellow Instagrammer, Mr. Gretzky. Um, we chat a lot. We've also, I've also known him from YouTube. Um, I don't think he does videos anymore, but he's a big Archie fan. Um, he told me he had some Spider-Man books for sale. And then, um, we wound up doing cash and trade for the following books. Um, first... He threw this book in for nothing. Um, Justice League number 23. Very cool early Justice League. Um, very happy with that. I showed this book in my last video. Um, and I had forgotten it. Or uh, it, wasn't, it must have been my last video. But I had forgotten I had it. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number 49. Amazing Spider-Man number 55. And number 67. So some Spideys for my, for my run. And then we're going to, we may be coming in under 25 minutes here. Um, three books left. Um, the three big books of my, of the haul. Um, I got this book here off of uh, eBay for a total of uh, $43 shipped. Captain Marvel Jr. number 116 from... I don't know what year it's from. But it is the first appearance of a character called Vampira. And it's a classic Cold War cover. Enough talking about the book. Let's show you the book. It's got some condition issues, but it's got a really bright colors, I thought. I mean, we got some creases there, but, you know, Golden Age books, um, you know, for the most part are kind of beat up. And then... I had a $30 gift card that my coworkers got for me for my birthday back in January, and I didn't spend it yet. And then Zap, um, on their Instagram post, showed a bunch of Spider-Man books that they had gotten in. And this was one of them. And I picked this up the day before they temporarily closed down in Manalip, and they had it shipped down. Amazing Spider-Man 42, the first uh, time you see Mary Jane's face uh, in the comics. Uh, got that for $50, but technically I got it for 20 because I had the gift card. And then the last book of the haul, one of the absolute, one of my most favorite books in my collection. Um, top 10, I would think. Um, if it's not my top 10, it's just outside the top 10. I'm definitely going to find a way to get it up on the wall. Uh, Shock Suspense Stories, number 8. I got this from Main Street Comics in Milltown for 100, whoops, 175. Um, I was able to pay it off in two installments. And, um, I was very happy to get that. So, um, I have a, a comic trade coming up with uh, Schoon's Comics. I actually got his books in the mail uh, the other day. I've got to get his books out. He also has some other books for me that uh, I'm going to give to my dad. Um, he has some 
Blondie and Dagwood comics. Um, so when we finish that trade, I'll uh, I'll show those books off, and then I got some other stuff in the in the mail from eBay. Comic hauls are going to be kind of scarce right now with all this going on, and um, so I'm going to try to space it out as much as possible, so I have something to show. But that's it, guys. Um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, everybody, uh, be safe out there. Be careful, and. Uh, We'll all get through this, and uh, until next time, bye for now.